Welcome back guys to Crafty Fox MC. Today we're going to be building the Pioneer Rail Equipment PREX 3000. And this is an EMD GP20. It's an X Santa Fe unit. And it's uh, one specific locomotive. So there are some characteristics on this, such as the walkway uh, steps. Like right here, it's going to be yellow, but in the back it's white. So these little tiny little details um, that matter. For PREX, they have this yellow stripes in the front and the back. It kind of like slants down on the sides. And since it's a GP20, the roof is shorter than a GP38, so I made the roof entirely out of slabs. Um, so that could be a good thing because the radiator fans, they're kind of a circle shape. That's nice. And then we're also using this ender chest, which is actually the first time I think I'm using this type of block, you know. Just the purple particles, a little annoying, but I need to have this shorter than the fan. And uh, there's all sorts of little tiny details on top. Dynamic brake housing, uh, vents here on the sides. There's also the step up over here that's not present on the other side. And one thing I noticed about the GP20, there's like these holes on the side of the walkways, which I have no idea what it is. So let me know down in the comments if you do. But you can see the cab is all lower down than the typical and we also have these skeleton skulls for the number boards. There's also this little thing that hangs at the top. I have no idea what that is for either. And if I turn on my night vision, you can guys could see it more clearer. But yeah, it's actually a commission by the Southern Rail fan. So thanks to him for making this video possible. So if you guys are interested in sponsoring a video or commissioning a build, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started on the PREX GP20. So first off, we're going to grab some materials. We're going to take out a dark oak slab, a fence gate, a trap door, a polished blackstone brick wall, a slab, a chain, a smooth quartz block, and a glow item frame. We'll need that for the ditch lights, also a nether brick uh, fence. So first off, let's place down a dark oak fence gate, another one to the side, open that up. And then we'll add in a dark oak slab on top, dark oak fence gate behind it, open up towards the front. Then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick wall. We're going to make it three blocks wide like this and two blocks tall on the side. Then another one here in the middle. And then um, our glow item frame, smooth quartz block. Then another brick fence, wrap it around. Just like that for the stanchion and a chain to the side of this. And to this chain to the side of the coupler. Also need a polished blackstone brick um, slab on top of this. I'm going to make it two blocks wide behind it. And a dark oak trap door. And we'll close that up like this. Then we'll go down here. Then we're going to add in black concrete two blocks wide. And polished blackstone brick stairs two upside down diagonal like that. And then we'll add in a oak slab right here. A dark oak trap door here. Close it up. Another one underneath, close that up as well. Then I'm going to add in black concrete, five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five. And then a polished blackstone brick slab like that. Then we'll add in another brick fence on side, right there and there. And then a dark oak fence gate underneath that for both of them. And we're going to open up towards each other. So there's going to be descending lines. This one's actually a little bit tricky to open up okay there we go and then we'll add in polished blackstone brick stairs we're going to add them back to back so one here and another one here in the back and then a polished blackstone brick wall in the middle of this then the outside part we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab skip a block another one here in the middle skip block another one right there and then a polished blackstone brick stairs right here in the middle and then to the sides of it, it's going to be a dark oak trap door. We're going to close them up just like that. Then we're going to add in a gray terracotta right after the fence gates for both of them. Hopper on the sides. And then we'll add a dark oak fence gate inside this. A polished blackstone brick block here. And then polished blackstone brick stairs um, back to back upside down like this for each of the wheels. And then the middle part. Actually, don't think it really matters because you're not going to really see the inside of it. Um, then we'll add in daylight detectors here. We're going to make them blue. Just like that. And I don't know, close that up. Then we're going to add a black concrete here in the middle. 
and then oak slab on the side of this, three blocks long, just like that. Then we'll add in an oak fence gate. I'm going to add one here. And then I'm going to open up towards the outside part. Then we'll go um, diagonally down and we're going to add in two. Open it up towards the inside, um, just like that. Next, we'll add in black concrete, make it two by two here. And then an upside down polished black stone brick stairs. And we're going to make this so it's seven blocks long. So seven like that, and then the back of it, two by two, black concrete, just like that. Then we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here, and then the front we'll add a polished black stone brick stairs facing the back, and a polished black stone brick slab here, and then a polished black stone brick stairs facing the back here, and then upside down all across to the side, right there. Very nice. All right, next up, we'll add an oak slab on top of the fuel tank, all the way across to the back. Add another one inside of this. Very cool. So once we're done with this, we're to copy um, everything from this point here all the way to this end, and we'll build it after the fuel tank the other way right here. All right, so once we built the other side, it should be looking like this. So now let's go over here to the side. We'll add a polished black stone brick slab right there. And the back, we'll add in um, dark oak fence gate like that. Then we'll connect these oak slabs together right here, just like that. And then over here, we'll add a polished black stone brick slab. And then there's gonna be this black wool three blocks tall. So one, two, three like that. And then three blocks tall black concrete. In the back, we'll add in another three black concrete. So one, two, three, polished black stone brick slab right there. Then the inside of this, we'll add in a nether brick block and we're gonna make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then a polished block stone brick stairs face the back here. And another one facing the front over there and polished block stone brick slabs all the way across like that. Another slab on the outer edge. And then a polished black stone brick uh, stairs. We're gonna make a half circle shape here black concrete inside and a dark oak um, trap door right on top to cap it off. And then a polished black stone brick slab, three blocks long here. Another one right there. In the middle is gonna be this ender chest it's facing towards the back to hide that buckle, of course. All right, so next up, let's go here, add a polished black stone brick a slab right there. And then a black concrete. We're gonna make it two by two. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs, two blocks wide here. Polished black stone brick slab, two blocks wide. And then a black concrete here, and then we'll need an oak slab, so two of them spaced apart, um, just like that. Then we'll go down here, and we'll add in an oak slab. On the other side, we'll add in smooth quartz slab. And the inside of this is going to be um, an oak sign. For the back one and a dark oak sign for the front one. And then on the side of this, we'll add in yellow concrete, three blocks wide. And then polished black stone brick slabs on the side of this. Black concrete, three blocks tall on top of each of them. Polished black stone brick slab here, another one underneath. And black concrete inside. And then smooth quartz slab, two of them spaced apart. A dark oak sign at the top part. And then dark oak trap doors, three blocks wide here. And then polished black stone brick slab, just three blocks wide again. And then we'll add a uh, black concrete here and a polished black stone brick stairs in the front. And then in the back, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here. Open it up, black carpet on top, black concrete underneath it like that. And then the front part, a polished black stone brick slab and a dark oak trap door like that. And then we'll add in the number board, just gonna be a uh, skeleton skull diagonally like that. Dark oak sign to the side of this. Black concrete inside, two blocks wide. And the rest is going to be a light gray glass block, I guess two by two like that. And we'll also need a dark oak 
um, trap door. So one here. It go, kind of goes in like a diagonal, and the middle parts are divider, our nether brick fence, just like that. And then to the side of this, we'll add in two polished blocks and brick uh, slabs. And then nether brick fence, we could add in kind of like a lightning bolt shape here, and a dark oak fence gate right to the side. Then we'll add in a blackstone button here and the birch button on either side of this, just like so. Next, we'll go in the back of this black concrete, three blocks tall. One, two, three. Nether brick block, three blocks long. And then a black wall, two by three. Black concrete top and also below. Then I'm going to add in black concrete going all the way across and I'm going to fill all this in. Just so it looks like this. Then we'll go off to the side here. We'll add a polished black stone brick slab. Skip a block another one. And then we'll add a polished black stone brick stairs here. Black concrete. And stairs in the front and the back of this just to make it a circle or a semicircle in this case. Then we'll add in a dark oak trapdoor here. Then black concrete right here. Polished black stone brick um, slab wrapped around it. Another slab right here. Polished black stone brick stairs facing inside. We're basically making yet another fan here. Slabs around it all the way to the end. And then polished black stone brick slabs. It's gonna be three blocks wide here. Nether brick slabs underneath it. Daylight detectors on the sides. We'll make it blue. And dark oak trap doors underneath it. Also, daylight detector above this part. Make it blue as well. Next, we'll add in birch button. Going to be two on diagonal right there. And we'll go in the back, add in a dark oak sign to the side of this item frame here and a white bed inside. Next, we're going to go inside the loom and we're going to make these two banners. So it's basically a black banner, yellow dye in the middle. We'll make two copies. So the first copy, we'll add in a stripe that goes on the top half of it. So it could be like that. And the other one, it's going to be on the bottom half. So basically, we'll add in the top half here in the middle and the bottom half on the other side like that. So pretty much do that in the front and another one here in the back. So it looks like that. And we're also going to make this banner. So go back to the loom, gray banner, black dye, board around it, and then black dye on the bottom third of it. And we're just going to add that to the side cab, the front, as well as in the back like that. Then we're going to add in a blackstone bun right underneath where the daylight detectors are like that, two of them. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this side. So copy everything we did here and build the other half. All right, so once we have both sides, it looks like this. It will go up to this side, add an oak bun here, polished blackstone brick slab underneath here. And the other side, we'll add in two polished blackstone brick slabs. And then a blackstone bun in the middle of this, a birch bun right here, blackstone bun right here. And the other side, uh, we're gonna add in blackstone bun here, Skip a block, another one here. Two birch buttons on a diagonal, another birch button right here. I think that's pretty much it. And in the back, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here, open that up. And a chain across the top half. And a polished blackstone brick wall on the right, like that. Then we'll go up over here, punch in a block, add in a dark oak fence gate for the horn. And then on the side, we'll add in another brick fence, two blocks tall. Skip block another one here. Dark oak fence gates on either side of this. We go in the front, add in another brick fence, two blocks tall, two blocks wide here. Skip a block, two blocks tall, another brick fence, and dark oak fence gates in the front and the back of it, and another one right there. And we're also going to extend these fences so that they go all the way to the back part like that. Then for the other side, we'll add in an oak fence, two blocks tall. And then a nether brick fence here. And then a dark oak fence, just so that these two are connected. Dark oak fence gate. 
and then nether brick fence two blocks tall. Then go in the front part two blocks tall again. Go daggly up, add another one right here. Skip block another one right here, and then nether. I mean dark oak fence gates in between. And we want to extend these so that they reach towards the back yet again, just like that. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build the PREX GP20 in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks again to the Southern Rail fan for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build, check out the link in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.